Madam President, you can't celebrate black history while erasing our voices. Frederick Douglass once said, education means emancipation. It means light and liberty. It means the uplifting of the soul of man into the glorious light of truth. The light by which men can only be made free. It's difficult to shine a light when you are hiding from the truth. The truth is that I grew up in a commonwealth where our schools were closed for four years because of massive resistance. And many of people who are living today are still suffering from the impact of massive resistance. The truth is, there was a time in our history when a black child was prohibited, prohibited from reading, from learning. There was a time in our history when educating a black person was considered dangerous and a threat. That's why so many are trying with everything they have to remove all traces of history from within our classrooms. So many have figured out that the way to stop progress is to start in the classroom. Classrooms have always been a battleground for children of color throughout our history. They know, like we know, knowledge is power. For this reason, our ancestors created institutions of higher learning in spite of the challenges they faced in order to educate and strengthen the black community. Our greatest thought leaders, activists, and champions emerged from within the safe environment of our HBCUs, like many of us here today. Our ancestors understood the importance of preserving our history and telling our history by teaching the truth. Talk about teaching the truth. Those before us shared their stories, their experiences for future generations on our own terms. They knew if they did not speak out, someone else would tell their story and place them in the margins of history. Madam President, I'm here to set the record straight. Black history is American history. Our stories matter, our contributions matter, our accomplishments matter, and our trauma matters. You can't celebrate black history without telling our stories in its entirety. Madam President, I thank you for your time.